So part of this mental health uh, series of workouts is feeling and finding your heartbeat. Um, that's going to be about energizing us and it's all about really trying to feel motivated by exercise and feel those endorphins flowing and just really just get us on a high and that's what we're really looking for from this workout. So we're going to try and do that. I hope you're going to join me. Now what we need to do is really focus carefully on what level you are going to work out. I'd like you to start off with just marching it through just to get yourself moving so we're warming up. Now we'll be working in three distinct levels. Level one is anybody can do and if you are pre or postnatal, unless uh, you have a high level of fitness and you're post postnatal um, and your doctor has said it's okay for you to take your exercise intensity up, unless you have that approval, you need to stay at level one which is going to be a moderate level of intensity. Yeah? Now level two is an advancement on from level one and level three is very advanced only for those of you that really feel you know you could go for it yeah but it's all about getting that energized feeling that's really really important okay what I want you to do is just take a forward step and back just keep it quite small and this will feature in our main workout but for now we're just warming up now I work barefoot because I'm in a lovely studio with a sprung floor nice soft landing for me but you can put your trainers on if you need to yeah that's absolutely Fine. It's important you do what feels right to you. And if the floor you're working out on is quite hard, really important that you have trainers on, yeah? Okay, now we're going to work with the other foot forward. So just pick it up when you can. Just stepping forwards and backwards. Now we're just warming up for the moment, yeah? It's good. Keep it going. Now I'm going to use a bit of timer, yeah? A bit of timing when we do this. Now I've got my timer over there so I can see it. So when you see me looking over to one side, you know that's why I'm using that timer. Okay, we're going to do four more on this leg. And then what I'd like you to do is take your feet a little bit more than hip distance apart and just slowly squat. And as you do this, I want you to think about what we said in our core focus, which is drawing up through the core of the feet. You've got those four points of focus. You're drawing up through the core of the feet, through the pelvis, shoulder blades drawn down, chin in, tongue on the roof of the mouth. And if that doesn't make sense to you, I really would urge you to go back and look at our inner you, our core focus workout for this mental focus, because that's really important. Okay, we're going to go single time squat now. So you can see drop down and up, lift and up. It's really important when you do this that you push your buttocks through and squeeze your buttocks and open the front of your pelvis. Notice that my back is long, so I'm going to do it wrong for a second. You don't round the back, yeah? You sit your bum out, basically, as so if you're going to sit down in the chair. It's good. Perfect. Well done, guys. Just do four more of these for me. Three more. And then we're going to do that action again that we did in our core focus workout. So you're going to take one leg back and we're just going to lift and lower through the right heel. Yeah? So coming up onto the ball of your foot and getting a stretch in your calf as you do this. Squeeze up into your bottom, lift in through your centre, lift your belly in. Now we're going to try and do a running action with this. Really make it nice and big. It's good. Perfect. Do four more of those. Yes, really nice. Two more. One more. Now, watch what I'm going to do with my leg. I'm going to push my hip forward back. So the heel's still going back, but now I'm opening the front of my pelvis as well. And my arms are going to go open. Open. Yeah? So you try that as well. So you're squeezing your buttock as you're doing it, pushing the hip open. Good. Two more. This is all about creating length in your body so that you're okay to really go for it in a second. Now take the other leg back and lift and lower. Now can you feel tightness in your left calf? Remember, focusing, squeezing the buttocks, drawing up through the core of the right foot. Push that right knee out, by the way. Don't let your knee fall in yet. So just push it out for me a little bit. It's good. Okay, do two more of these. Actually, I lie. Do four more of these. Four more. And then we're going to do that hip forward motion. So lifting up. Really squeezing your bottom. Yep, squeeze it. And lift through your core. Shoulders down, chin in. Okay, now we're going to pull that hip in forward. So hip in, heel down. Open and close the chest. Yeah? Lovely big warming up movements. Okay, go for four more of those. I'm falling over. What am I like? Use your core, Jane. Two more. 
One more. Okay, we're nice and warm. Now, level one, so you're just going to march it out for me. Level twos, you can stay on a march or you can just gently jog it up. Level threes, you can jog it up fast. So yeah, you go at your level. I'm gonna to stick to level one. And what I will do is I will show you each progression and then I will go back to level one each time. We are going to do one minute on three different activities and then we're gonna go back and repeat them. That's it. It's so, so simple. All right, so our first one is a step forward and back like we did in the warm up. Starting with your right leg and we're going to stay on the right leg. So level one. Now what you've got to do though guys, is make it really big. So you squat down into it. Really, really big steps. Yeah? So this is level one. Now level two, you're going to step, jump back. Jump back. Yeah? Level threes, you're going to jump. Jump, jump. Yep, yeah? find your level. I'm going to level one. You work at your level. Okay, I'm about 20 seconds in. How you doing? You alright? Keep it going. Yes, yes, yes. A minute seems a long time when you're doing this. <laughs> Keep going. So right foot stepping forward, stepping into it. I'm just going to give you a level two. Anybody that's on level two, level one. Sorry, level three. This is not level one. Guys, you've got 10 seconds to go. Yep. Keep going at your level. You're doing brilliantly good. Five more seconds. Five. Come on. Big, big, big. Four. Three. Two. One. Guys, next movement. Step to the side for me. How do you feel? How's that heart rate, by the way? Just put your finger onto the side. Can you feel it? Yes? Okay. Next minute. Starting now. So we're going to do a step touch and I call it speed skater. This is your level one. Yeah, just stepping behind. Nice and big, yes. Okay, level two, little hop. And then for level three progression, you're just gonna make it really big and you leap. Yeah, go, go, go. Okay, so level one, nice and easy. Level two, little hop. Level three, bigger, yes, push. Push, guys, we are 20, 30 seconds in. 30 seconds in, <laughs> can't count. Keep it going, you stick to your level. Yes, go, go, 20 seconds to go. Breathe, well, we're moving, we certainly are. <laughs> Keep it going, you've got 10 seconds. Yes, yes. Keep it going. Remember your level. So I'm doing level two now. Level three. Bigger. Yes. You are there. Well done. Okay, get the step touch going. Going. Now, join me when you can. That's all it is. Step arms up. This is level one, yeah? Join me. Now level two is a little bit different, yeah? Double hop, but you keep it small. Level threes, much bigger. Big hops. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Yep. Level one. Keep it going. How are we doing? Really good stuff. Keep it going. Level two, little hop. Level three, bigger. Come on, push, push. Go at your level. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stay at level one. You've got 20 seconds to go, guys. Really good. Keep it going. Yes. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, you're there. Do you remember your first move? We're going to do it again. Another minute of each, and then we're done. Can we do this? Can we? But this time, what I want you to do is change legs. We're going to do everything to the left. Can you do that? Onto your left leg. Let's go. Level one. Come on, bigger. Yes, come on. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Come on, you can do this. I know you can. Let's put our mind into motion. Keep it going. Level twos. 
jump back. So step forward, jump back. Level threes, jump, jump, jump forwards, jump back. It's a bit like doing hopscotch. <laughs> Keep it going. Go, go, go. Now you might want to slip down the level if you're level threes because it's really hard. Feel free to drop down. Don't over push it. Guys, you've got 15 seconds to go and then we'll move on to our next movement. Keep it going. It's good. 10 seconds. Keep going at your level. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, step touch. Left and right. Yes, you can do this. Okay, speed skater. Go, go, go. Yep, come on. Level ones, just step it but strong, yeah? You really push it. Four. Yes, come on. Level twos. Little hop. Nice and easy. Level three, bigger hop. Come on, let's go. Push, push. Find your level. Breathe. Can you feel your heartbeat? Has it gone up? Well, no, mine has. <laughs> Keep it going. How are we doing? We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Yes, yes, come on, come on, come on, push. Go at your level, bigger if you're doing level three. Come on, go, go, go. Nearly that, five more seconds. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Guys, change your rhythm. It's good. Level ones. Stepping side, level twos. Double hop. Level threes, double hop, but with a bigger leap. Yep. Yes, you can do it. Now, if you are working out with a friend, which I really do recommend, you could be doing different levels, and that's good. You all need to feel your heartbeat. Yes, connect to it. Put your finger on the side of your neck. Feel it? Is it there? I bet it is. Come on, let's work that hard. Let's really get ourselves big hearts. Keep it going, keep it going. Come on. Yes. The more you do this stuff, the bigger your heart will be. Good, good. It's all good. You find your level. 15 more seconds, guys, and then you are done. Keep it going. You can do it. Five more. Four more. Three, two, one. Yes! You've made it. Okay, march it down. Woohoo! Well done. Brilliant stuff. All right, I definitely felt that. Just put your hand on your heart right now and listen to it. Wow! How energizing is that? Can you feel it? It's cool, isn't it? So, whenever you need that little bit of energy, you come back to this video. You're feeling a bit down, feeling a bit ooh, you do this with me. Yeah, and you tell me that you've done it, and you tell me how you feel. And if you want to do it, but it's just you can't bring yourself to do it, you tell me too. Yeah, you message me, you tell me, make a comment. Anywhere on social media, I promise I'll pick it up. Okay, breathe. And one more time. Alright, let's tap back. Nice and easy, slow it down. Okay, now hold your right leg back in the calf stretch. So squeeze your bottom, lift your belly in, hold that position. Now you might want to hold on to someone or something. Put your hand onto something. Go into a quad stretch. Now if you can't hold on to your foot, hold on to the back of your sock or your trousers or the back of your shoe. Keep your knees together, engage your buttocks and use those all important core muscles for your centre. Okay, now cross that leg over and stick your bottom back behind you. Now really stick your bum out. Stick it out, stick it out, stick it out, stick it out. That's good. Okay. 
Inhale and then change, other side. Hold, heel down, lift into your center. Hold, hold, hold. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Feel that length going through your path. Now come into that quad stretch. Knees together, push your hips forward, lengthen through the front of your thigh. Push your kneecap down. Keep working your shoulders down. Use your core, squeeze your bottom. Lift up from the pelvic floor. Draw up to the core of your right foot. Okay, now take the knee out to the side. Come down. Shoulders legs down, chin in. Lengthen through. Ta-da! You've done it. How cool are you? Well done. See you later.